In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Evan Mobley and how he shoots the basketball. He is one of the very few centers who can jack up three-point shots and hit them at a high percentage. Many people are starting to call him a unicorn, so he may actually go higher than what you may expect in this year's NBA draft. Let's get down, let's check out Evan Mobley. So the first thing that I always like to look at is his base. So first off, his feet are shoulder width apart and his shoulders are over top of his knees, but they're actually not really necessarily over top of his toes. We can actually see that his shoulder and his toes are ahead of his feet, which then tells me that he's going to most likely jump forward on his shot. And then if we look forward into the actual shot, we can see that he does slightly jump forward, but his lower body does but his upper body doesn't his lower body tends to swing forward while his upper body stays roughly stationary as to where he was originally at the reason why this is actually important to me is the fact that when you jump forward into your shot the issue with that is now every time you jump forward on your shot you have to make sure that you jump the exact same distance if not then you're going to start messing with how far that basketball is going to be shot and you really have to adjust your upper body however if your body is like a pendulum and it swings but your upper body stays roughly in the same spot you don't have to worry about that so this is actually something that as a shooting coach I would not be worried about. Something else, else that I really like to see is him hopping into his shot. Now some players will do this, others will not. Some players will like to kick their foot down while Evan Mobley in most cases likes to hop into his shot. This allows him to get his legs loaded to get up into his shot. Very similar to a Kobe Bryant or even a Michael Jordan style shot, they usually like to hop into it. We can also see that he's up onto his toes which will engage his calves so that he can get up into the air faster. And then something else that we do notice is when he gets that ball, he starts to rise the ball up or raise the ball up into his set point. Meanwhile, his body is going down into the shot. Now this will actually allow him to have a faster shot. We can see that in really slow motion. Usually when a player's body is going down, they're dipping the ball at the same time, almost like a backswing in golf. where They'll dip the ball and then they'll raise it up into their set point. But meanwhile, we see Evan Mobley going down into his shot and rising that ball up into his set point at the same time. Now, he does have a two motion shot, which means that he does freeze the ball roughly above his forehead before he shoots. He doesn't have a one motion where it's just one straight shot without having a real set point. Now, the reason why some players will have a two motion shot versus a one motion shot is the fact that with a two motion shot they're going to be taking a lot of power off of their shot mainly because in this case with an Evan Mobley or a very tall player they've got longer arms in most cases and when you start taking away Pochevesky's shot and some of the other seven footers most seven footers will have a two motion because they have a lot of upper body strength something else I really want to point out is that he's looking at that rim the whole entire time he catches that ball as soon as that ball is about to go into his hands he's looking at that rim he then hops into his shot and then he goes up into his set point and then he goes and releases we can see with the palm facing the screen that he does not have a thumb flick which is good in this case because we can see from another angle that he actually shoots with his elbow in line with the rim but, but what about energy transfer is he transferring energy up into his shot? Yes. We can see that he extends his knees at the exact same time as lifting off the ground. That's going to give him nice energy transfer up into his hips, which then goes up into his shoulders. And then with that two motion shot, he extends his elbow, has the elbow above his forehead with a non thumb flicked shot, which will allow him to have a nice straight shot as well. Now, of course, some players do shoot with a thumb flick, so keep that in mind. Now we can see from this angle that he is slightly tilted away from the rim, and he will do that so that his his shoulder and elbow are in line with the basketball net. This is extremely important. No matter what happens with your shot, you need to have that in line because that will then dictate where that ball is going to be going. Is it going to be going straight out towards the right or out towards the left side? Next is to get that ball 
usually over top of either the elbow, the upper arm, or the shoulder, and we can see that that is something that happens. Now we can see that he also has a soft release with a hard wrist flick. Now what does that do? Well that hard wrist flick allows him to have lots of backwards rotation on that ball so that it hits that rim softer but also the soft release with the knuckles as well as the fingers will allow him to have a higher arc so it's a nice combination between a curry and a michael jordan shot which is why he actually has a very accurate three-point shot I hope that this video helps you be able to shoot the basketball better and understand how Evan Mobley shoots the ball as well. Make sure to go check out all the links down in the description below for all the workouts as well as all the coaching books if you're a coach. I hope to see you guys again and of course all the equipment I use is down there as well.